Hello everybody, it is Lillian with another quick and easy dish for you. This is going to be pico de gallo today. We're going to make pico de gallo and this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some salt, a lime or two depending on how much lime you want in it, Roma tomatoes, an onion, uh, either serrano chili or big huge jalapeno like this, and some cilantro. Let's get going. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do, and I'm going to sit down to do this because I'm at my kitchen table. I actually have a Vidalia chopping wizard. Um, if you don't have one of these, which is really handy, just use a knife for your onion. But let me just show you how my chopping wizard does, okay? Just going to cut some slices of the onion. All right. This is really neat. And just stick it in there. And you can get these at Target and at Walmart, and it makes a little bit of noise, so bear with me. All right. Now let me show you why I like these, this Vidalia Chopping Wizard so much. <clears throat> you see how finely that diced that onion? Just that little bit. Now, if you don't have one of these, Another way you can do this, <clears throat> excuse me again, can't clear my throat, is, I'm just going to use this little piece here, cut it, um, when, when you have your onion, just cut it in slices, and then just dice it up like this. You notice how I'm cutting? the onion. I'm cutting it with the tip of the knife on the cutting board. It doesn't move. You use it a, a rocking motion to cut. So I'm going to continue cutting the onion and when I come back we will continue. Okay I've got my onion all chopped and I'll give you the the ingredient list but really it's just to your taste how much you want but this, this is about maybe a cup of onion, chopped onion. You don't really have to be precise. Like I said, use however much that you want. Um, and I know some of you are going to say, well, I don't really like cilantro. Can I use something else? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend it. Now you saw that I cut the, the woody part off, the stems off of the cilantro. Make sure that you wash everything before you cut it up and use it because you don't know who at the grocers um, has had their hands on anything. So again with the rocking motion, we're going to cut the entire bunch of cilantro and I'm going to cut it a little bit finer than this, just running my knife through it. I really like the taste of cilantro. Um, a lot of people don't, but I do. And this pico de gallo dish, try not to move this too much, and I'm sorry about the camera shaking, but nothing I can do about that right now. Try to be as gentle as I can. <laughs> um, but you can use this dish, this pico de gallo, in anything, really. You can put it in guacamole if you want. So I'm going to use the entire, because I have so many tomatoes, we're going to use the entire thing of cilantro. This stuff likes to stick to your hands, too. Let me just tell you. Now, if I was doing this at my, um, at my kitchen, uh, excuse, not my kitchen, excuse me, my stove, then um, it wouldn't be like that. It wouldn't be sh shaky like that. So what we're going to do with the, with the Roma tomatoes is just cut the tops off. And the reason I use Roma tomatoes is because there's not a whole lot of juice in there. You don't want it juicy. So what we're going to do, we cut the top off. We're going to leave it, we're going to um, stand it like this. <clears throat> and we're going to make, be very careful when you use your knife, but we're going to make little cuts. And just like I said, be very, very careful. Um, you don't have to do it like, like I'm doing it. You can certainly chop it up any way you want to. Now that it's like uh, 
slice like that. This is where it gets kind of messy too. You can also, if you have the Vidalia Chop Wizard, you can you can chop it um, in that too. But you want little dices like this, little dices. And I'm going to continue to cut my tomatoes and put them in there. And we will come to the next step in just a minute. All right, I already put the tomatoes in there, and as you can see. There's a lot of tomatoes in there, but I promise the cilantro is down there too. And the onion. I'm going to set that aside. My camera wants to fall. Somebody doesn't want me to make this video. Don't know who. Let me just fix it a little bit. All right. Now, again, now this is the only lime that I have. Um, and actually, I used it for margaritas, so. Um, what I would do is cut this in half, and I would actually use two limes or lemons. Usually, um, though, you want to get lime if you can. If you don't like lime, then certainly use lemon. Now, <clears throat> for this, for the jalapeno, you want to be very careful when you cut this up. If you don't want it as hot, you take the membrane out, okay? Um, it's still going to be hot, though. So I'm going to discard the top here and actually discard the little little tail end and make sure that you wash your hands very thoroughly if you don't use gloves to cut this open because if you happen to touch your eye or your mouth region you're going to be on fire. So I'm going to take my spoon and I want all these seeds in there so I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Be careful they don't pop on you too when you take them out. And I'm going to get as much of the membrane off as I can. And because I have so many, I wasn't going to use the entire jalapeno, but um, because I have so many tomatoes in there, I'm just going to take this off with my hands. Just got to remember to scrub those hands, girl. Alright, uh, but I'm going to use the entire jalapeno for this because I do have so many onions, or excuse me, not onions, but tomatoes. Now, you want to just slice them thinly. And of course, if you're making this pico de gallo for, you know, kids, obviously omit the jalapenos, unless they can really, really, really take it. I don't know what little kid can, though. And then you're just going to dice these up. And again, sorry about the shakiness of the camera, but I have it rigged. <laughs> I have it rigged on some DVDs so that uh, you can see everything that I'm doing. We're just going to put the jalapenos in there. And we're going to do this other half of the um, chili. It's almost too hard to cut because it's so big. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do this also. I'm not really a huge fan of jalapeno, so we'll see how this this goes. I like spicy stuff, don't get me wrong, but um, jalapenos, something different. So I'm really, I'm making this for my husband. He really, he likes hot stuff. Well, he married me, didn't he? Just saying. Anyway, but you want to dice this up as well um, and to put that in there. Now you can put a garlic clove in here if you want to. I usually don't, but uh, you can. It, it is optional. Now, let me make sure this is a good shot, and it is. So now, um, a good tip for you for limes is to get all the juice out, microwave them for about 10 seconds, roll them around on the counter, and then cut them in half. And you're going to get a lot more juice than me. And I'm not real strong. And because my husband is not here, i got to really work at this. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to take... Sorry, i got to get those seeds off, off the spoon. But I'm going to actually take some of the pulp, too, of the lime. Now, you don't have to do this. Just, you know, if you pierce it with a fork, it will actually help you, too. But anyways, we're going to use the spoon and when you get ready to put the salt in 
put about a teaspoon to two teaspoons in. Don't put a whole lot because the lime is, is acidic. Acid yeah, that's the word. Acidic enough. But I'm just going to sprinkle this on. I kind of eyeball it. Put a couple of teaspoons in there. And you just mix it all up. Make sure you mix it thoroughly. And again, like I said, you can serve this with fish, with chicken, um, put a little bit in some guacamole, or use, you know, tortilla chips, however you want to do. You can even put this in some tacos that you make, or burritos, and there you have it. Delicious cilantro, lime, onion, tomato, and jalapeno. Pico de Gallo. Try it, my friends, and let me know how you like it. Make sure that you comment below, and if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe to me, because you know what? It's worth it to have good food, to watch good things. Until next time, yeah, I know that was corny. <laughs> Talk to you later.